Hi guys, this is tutorial 4. Um, we will be drawing some circles and arcs on a panel so that it could be cut out using a router. Um, I've already commenced this tutorial by entering the layers that we'll be using board, circles, construction, and dimensions. Um, you guys already know how to do that. So um, we will get started here by drawing the board. So I've clicked on the board layer and we'll draw a rectangle, a uh, rectangle with size and 2700 wide and 1200 high. Um, I've I just already entered those, so they're left over from my previous session with um, QCAD. But I'll just click, say there, and you can't see it again. So we need to zoom out so we can see the 2700 by 1200 rectangle. It wants me to draw a second one, but I don't want to, so I will right click there and remove that. So, um, the first thing I do when I do this, and I need to say that there are lots of different ways to do most of these things using QCAD, but um, this is the way I've worked out how to do it. Um, I want to use a, draw a construction line uh, there, and it will be a vertical line. Now, the length of it, we can make any length we like, but seeing that's 1200 we're going to be using it as the to line up the center of the circle um, I've made it four meters and because we're drawing going to draw it down the page I've made the reference point the end so I'm starting at the top in the middle there and I'm drawing it down the page below the board could have gone the other way wouldn't have made much difference um, I could have chosen the middle and that would have drawn it above and below or I could have chosen the end and I would have had to find a spot down here but that's our reference line now in order let's say we want to draw a four meter radius around here the best way to do it sorry four meter diameter so two meter radius uh, we will go back and back again and draw a circle no we won't at first I'll draw an offset because I want to know where the center of the circle is going to be now it's um, there's the offset here so I want to, it's two meters radius so I want to leave a little bit of clearance here for the router so I'm going to make it two oh, to O and if I just hold it just below the line I want to offset that will give me a distance between here and here of 2020 so now <clears throat> we're gonna I'll exit out of that by right clicking um, we'll be drawing a circle and go back and here's the circle and we'll choose center with a radius so choose there our radius is two meters i would have typed that in there if it had been different and we're looking at the center of the circle so if we pop down here and left click we have drawn our first circle i'll right click there to get out of it now um now most of the um, MDF that we cut in circles is has a, th a width of 96 millimeters. So I'll use the offset command, type in the distance 96 and hover just inside there and left click and there she is. So this area here is 96 millimeters wide um, now 
we want to do the same again below here but we want to leave, leave enough clearance again for the router so I'll change that now to say 20 mil and zoom in and hover just in there so there she is now the easiest way to do this now is to trim all these down so we don't have all this extra uh, drawing down below so let me see I think we go back, back again and we, the trim command is in under here from memory and I'm going to use this one breakout segment so we're going to try and break out these segments here I haven't used this I think I've only used it once before so forgive me if I get it wrong but click on breakout segment and choose and down here it's telling us what to do what we can do choose the line arc etc so this is the we want to break out so if I click there it disappears and there and there and they're all gone whoops no, it looks like it intersected here. So I'm going to have to do the same over this side with those two. If this hadn't extended down so far, we would have only needed to do it three times as there were no other lines interconnecting with, with those circles. So now we have our arcs that we want to reproduce. This bottom arc is really a construction line, but I'll leave it like that for the moment need to choose these items that I want to uh, copy and I can click on them one after the other but the quicker way to do it is to click and hold the left mouse key and draw a rectangle touching each of the arcs and unclick and I've chosen all three so then I can click copy and I can click this reference point the intersection and I will Locate it there, and we want to we want multiple copies. So if I click multiple copies, I'm going to get ten copies, and they'll all be located the same distance apart down here, which is very handy. But we will only need one, two, three, maybe four. So I'll change that to four and click OK and there we go so we could make use of obviously one two three four five five the fifth one will be slightly short or full but it may well get us all we need let's um, see what happens so I'll right click I'll left click on that and escape out of it now I wanted to delete these ones which were the spacing the 20 mil spacings so click on each one and press delete there we go delete that one and delete that one now about the only thing we need to know now is whether this is a quarter of a circle or what it actually is um, so that Kim, if he has to um, cut four or cut a full circle, he needs 360 degrees. So I'll draw a line uh, between two points, one there, there, and back up to there and right click and if we measure uh, an angle I oh, will just draw an angle you can probably measure the angle but I'm not too sure at the moment let me see angular so we've got a arc or first of two lines there's one there's two and 
And this is a strange thing that happens from time to time when I'm working on this, is it's drawn symbols in here. So I'll right click out of that. So we'll choose this entity, which is the angle. And first of all, we'll move it to dimensions. So I double click there, that changed the layout this is on. So if I want this to be a construction line, I can double click there and it will change it, should change it to green, which it did. I might as well do it for this last one. Double click and it's green also. So um, let me see if we go edit, drawing preferences and dimension settings. For some reason, this has changed to symbol astro. It should be symbol CAD and we'll apply that and click OK and now we've got 85 degrees so Kim or whoever's cutting this will need to do more than four to get his um, 360 degrees in this case one two three four we've got five on that piece of board so I would pretty much guess that he would be able to get the rest of the, the last 20 degrees out of this bottom piece here. Um, what else? We possibly need to just indicate this so that we make sure we haven't got anything incorrect. And also, let me see, we'll do a radius dimension on this item here. So you can see this is two meters there. And we'll do it again for this one here. And 1904, so the difference is 96. So we're okay there. So um, for some reason, I'll right click, get out of that. This one is somehow become the, in the wrong layer, so double click on circles. There's one more thing that we need to do in order to enable the work to be done, and that is to provide a dimension between this point and this point so we can locate the center of our second piece of board that same distance down here the center of that arc so we'll just it's a vertical dimension from there to there 161 and we might as well select it and double click on dimensions and there it is um, and that should do it although um, we might just no we'll leave it there I think you should be able to print um, thanks for your time bye